gospel train is chugging at the track, chugging at the track, it's chugging at the track. This gospel train is chugging at the track, it's chugging to the glory land. Oh, Chesley, that's a good song. Yes, this gospel train is chugging to the glory land. I'm glad to get out of that truck. Oh, can I still sing? Oh, yes, you can still sing. What are you going to sing next? It's, an, it's a verse in the song. It was, it was, it, it, that was a chorus. Oh, that was the chorus. Okay. All right. And what is the verse going to be? Uh, get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, this gospel train is a chugging up the train. Chugging up the train. It's a chugging up the train. This gospel train is a chugging up the train. Chugging to the glory land. Hey, Frida's watching. I see Frida's watching. She's out there in Texas. I think they got some storms. Oh, yes, they got some storms last night. And, 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 oh, was Jasper scared? Yes, Jasper, her dog was scared. And so he had to get real close to her and hug her. Oh, yes, he had to hug up really close. And everything worked out really good, and we're glad for that. Yeah, well, and Nanda Tona's watching. Did you know I could read? Oh, yes, I see you can read. As long as I'm the voice of Chesley, all works well. Chesley, I'm so glad that we have each other. No, oh, me too. You know what? I think we make a team. We are a team. That's right. Yeah, you know, you're pretty nice. He said when you stick me in the trunk. Oh, but Chesley, remember, count the times you get out of the trunk. Oh, I'm so glad to get out of the trunk. You know what we're going to talk about? What are we going to talk about today? You know, what it takes to be a winner. What it takes to be a winner. Everybody likes to be a winner. You know, no one wants to lose. No one likes to lose, but everybody has been on the losing end of things sometimes. And, and sometimes in the winning. And the winning, yes, we have been winners too. That's a good thing when we when we win. You know what now when it's your team. Oh when your team wins. That's a great thing. You know, Chelsea, it takes everybody playing and doing their best to win the game. And sometimes you're in it all by yourself. Oh yes, yeah, sometimes if it's a let's say a foot race, you're in it by yourself. But you know, Chesley, there's rules that need to be followed. And, and you know, sometimes, sometimes people cheat. Sometimes people cheat. That's right, Chesley. And it's a terrible thing when people cheat. And, you know what I don't like? What is it you don't like? I don't like it when cheaters win. When cheaters win. You got that right, Chesley. It's a bad thing when cheaters win. <laughs> yeah, when, 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 when you know you wasn't true. You, you know they cheated. I don't want to deal around a cheater. Now, Chesley, let's don't just talk about cheaters. What we're going to talk about today, that we can be a winner even if we lose. I don't know how you mean that, Chesley. Here's what it can be. Let's say you do the right thing and you lose. You see, you're a loser. No, if you did the right thing, you're a winner. You know how that? You don't get the trophy. You may not get the trophy, but you've pleased the Heavenly Father. You know what, Chesley? We're not just living here someday. Because someday people are going to die. Someday we're all going to die. Or we're going to go in that thing called the rapture. And Chesley, you know what? It's those people that have done the right thing, that have pleased the Lord. They're going to get to go to heaven, but not the others. That's right. It's the people that do right. Is there a Bible saying it? The Bible says it. In fact, you know, the Apostle Paul, he knew what it was in the Roman world, how they, they, they loved having the Olympics. You know, they had Olympics back then in the old days? Yes, back in the old days, they certainly did. The Olympics were a big thing. But uh, Paul said, you know what, when you compete in, in a, whether it's a race or whether it's a boxing match or wrestling, whatever it is, you need to complete lawfully. <laughs> follow the rules. Follow the rules. That's the right thing. Sometimes there is cheating. You know, Chesley, I've seen that happen. Uh, you know, because I used to work on a job where it was in sports, and I've seen cheaters. It was just the kids. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was also adults. <laughs> and they're supposed to be setting the example. They're supposed to be setting the example. But you know what, Chesley? It, even if everybody else cheats, we need to be that individual. <laughs> what does that mean? We're that one, that individual, one, one person <laughs> that does the right thing. That does the right thing. So what I want to talk about today is individualism, and not that we never, you know, that we're just out there all by ourselves. But I'm saying when everybody else is cheating, that we do the right thing. You know that pleases the Lord, and you know I've done the right thing. You feel good about it. You're glad you did it, and God honors us. 
but it hurts when we don't win, when we know we've done the right thing. But one day, it's going to be like the Apostle Saul. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. He came to the end of his life, and it was in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. And he said, well, one thing in that scripture he talked about in 2 and 5, he said, if anyone competes uh, as an athlete, he does not win the race unless he competes according to the rules, it is, unless they cheat. And sometimes there's cheating. But, Chesley, most of the time, the right person wins. And I know this, Chesley, there is a what race that we can all win. And it is a race to him. That's the race to get to heaven and live with the Lord forever and ever. The Apostle Paul said to us in 2 Timothy chapter 4, and verse 7 and 8, and he, what he said about, he said, I have fought the good fight. He said, I have finished the course. He said, I have kept, and he said, I've kept the faith. And he said, there is a crown of righteousness laid up for me. No, oh, he won. He's the winner. He said, I fought a good fight. I kept the rules. That's what he was saying. I kept the rules. And he was so glad that he did. He could have cheated. You know what, Jesse? He could have stayed on. There he was. He was really popular with the, all in the Jewish church. and They didn't believe in Jesus. Anything was against him. They, they killed him. Yes, they killed him. But the Apostle Paul thought they, at the time he wasn't the Apostle Paul. He was went by the name of Saul. And he thought that God was, that this stuff about Jesus was wrong. And when he found out the truth, you know, he said, I'm on that side. He was on that side. And he had many telling him, you're wrong, Paul. And they said, get on our side. Get think over here. They did. They tried to get him to change back. But no, he wouldn't do it. He said, I choose to be a confident, rugged, rugged individualist. A confident, rugged individualist. What's that thing? A confident, rugged individualist. Whether anyone else follows me or not, I'm going to be true to Jesus. He saved me. He took my sins away. You know, I ain't going to live for him. That's what he said. I'm going to forever live for him. And he was going to reach out and tell the truth to others. It's all of them going to believe. Not all of them did believe, but some did believe. And, 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 you know, he had to go to prison. Yes, we know the Apostle Paul wound up in prison. And what he did there, uh, did he scream and cry? no. Bible doesn't say screamed and cried. In fact, he preached the gospel to people there, there with him. And the prisoners, the other prisoners, that's right. He told them about Jesus. He said, while I'm in here, I'm not going to pout. I'm not going to complain and say they broke the rules. They did me wrong. No, he didn't say, Jesus loves me this I know. For the Bible tells me so. And when he said, whether I'm in prison or out of prison, I'm going to speak the truth. Jesus loves me, and he set me free from my sins. Jesse, we need to compete right. There's always going to be the opportunity to look at the cheaters. There's cheating all the time. There's cheating everywhere we may go, but there's always those people that do right. And may it always be you, boys and girls. May it always be you and the moms and dads, all the adults listening. May it always be us, that we are that individual that does the right thing. A confident, rugged individualist living for Jesus. Living for Jesus, never backing down. Uh, do you have to fight? No, we don't want to fight with your fist. We don't fight with our fist, but we can smile. We can have a, a nice attitude, even when they're saying mean things. Even when they're saying mean things, and I know that's hard, but we can do like the Apostle Paul as he said, he was saying as quickly as he could, there was him his last words. He, he, was like, he, was, he knew, he knew that it's fixing to take his life, and he was telling Timothy all that he could. He was saying, I fought a good fight. I finished the course. And he said, I've done the right thing. I'm glad that I did. And there's a crown of righteousness laid up for me, and there is not just for me, but for all they will live godly, that for all they're going to serve the Lord and live a godly life, do the right thing no matter what. Chesley, it pays to live for Jesus in the a confident, rugged individualist. That is the way to win. What it takes to be a winner. Do the right thing. Do the right thing every time. What if you miss something do wrong? If we fail, if we do wrong, Chesley, we immediately, right then and there, we tell Jesus we're sorry and we don't want to do that again. And help us to be strong. Help us to be strong. 
and stand true for him in every situation. You know what, Chesley? I don't like that tone of voice. <laughs> well, Chesley, it comes time you have to go to bed. And so, you know something? It's just getting kind of stuffy. I need an air conditioner, <laughs> Chesley. You don't need an air conditioner. Have you slept in that thing? No, I haven't slept in there in your trunk. You know what? You need to check it out before you stick me in that trunk without air conditioning. <laughs> Chesley, I don't think you need air conditioner. I think you're fine. You're a piece of wood. So you're going to be what? Well, that's another thing. I think I need to de spray the termites. Spray it. I'm not going to spray that for termites. Uh, don't you care about my health? Yes, I care about your health, and I think you're fine. I think you're stalling before you go to bed. So you tell everybody, you know, son, I see uh, Rebecca Brown, uh, you know, Shifty Hudson is listening. Oh, that's right. Why, we remember Rebecca. We called her Becky. And we're so glad to see her watching. And you're still stalling. No, oh, you're going to stick me in that trunk and I'm going to suffocate. No, you won't suffocate. You're a piece of wood. Goodbye, Chesley. We'll see you next Sunday afternoon. And we're so happy to have everybody with us. You be blessed and have a great rest of the day, a great weekend. And your week may be filled with you being a righteous, true, holy person, being faithful before the Lord. It honors him, and you'll be happy, and everybody that's around you is going to take notice. Something is different. I want to get acquainted with them and find out more. You be blessed.